Hey guys, as of Season 3 Reloaded, Call of Duty Warzone 2 will have rank play. In this video, I'm going to be going over all of the details in regards to Warzone 2 rank play, what it is and how it will work. So let's not waste any time and just jump straight into it. The first thing you need to know is there is a bunch of skill divisions. Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, Crimson, Iridescent and then the top 250. This is identical to the ranks in the multiplayer ranked play game. The top 250 is the people with 10,000 plus SR and this will just keep on going higher and higher until the end of the season. Now how do you get SR and how do you get it higher? It's based off kills, kills by your squad and the placement at the end of the match. Now you can lose SR because there is a deployment fee every time you load into a match. We'll touch more on that in a minute. First thing you need to know is how Warzone ranked works. So the party size is only going to be trios. The map is El Mazra. Obviously it's Battle Royale. Public event restrictions, for example, no fire sales, vehicle restrictions, no heavy choppers, restricted gameplay elements such as no multi-circles, there's going to be changes to redeploy mechanics, buy station inventory adjustments, and you cannot throw rocks at people because apparently that's me. One thing you're going to want to know is your deployment fee. Now this is how much SR it will cost you to load up into a rank play map. From bronze 1 to 3 there is no deployment fee so you don't have to worry about losing any SR. However, once you reach Silver 1, it'll cost you 10 SR up until Silver 3, which will be 18 SR. And this will keep on going up every time you climb the divisions. And then when, once you reach Crimson 3, this will cost you 100 SR every single match. So that is quite a lot. Now let's jump into how you can actually earn SR and not just spend it. When there is 50 to 21 squads remaining, you will get 5 SR per kill and assist. And then if your team just gets a kill without you doing anything, you will get 2 SR. When there is 20 to 4 squads remaining, you will get 7 SR per kill or assist. And then 3 SR if your squad gets a kill. And then when there is 3 to 1 squads remaining, you will get 15 SR per kill or assist. And then 7 SR if your squad gets a kill. So you can earn quite a lot of SR by just simply slaying out. So let's jump into how much SR you will get for your final placement. So if you finish in the top 40, you will gain 5 SR. If you finish in the top 30, you will gain 10. If you finish in the top 20, you will gain 20. If you finish in the top 10, you will gain 30. If you finish in the top 5, you will gain 45. If you finish in 3rd, you will gain 60. If you finish in 2nd, you will gain 80. And if you finish 1st, you will gain 100 SR. Now this is a good system because let's say you're in Crimson and it costs you 100 SR to load into the match and you finish second which gives you 80 SR, you would have to get 4 kills at the start of the match just to make that 100 SR back or a couple kills at the, towards the end of the match. So this does prevent people from just sitting in the corner camping and trying to just finish first for that SR. You will have to get kills so this is good, this is very similar to Apex Legends. Now the rewards for the division placements, ranking up and completing seasonal placements and kill challenges are unique and separate from Modern Warfare 2 rank play. So this will give people incentive to play Modern Warfare 2 rank play and Warzone 2 rank play to gain all of the rewards for both. Now the rank system is separate from the division. Players progress their rank by earning stars with up to 3 stars being earnable per match. This is very similar to rank play so you'll earn your SR and then you will earn your rank and this will give you a star and this will level up your rank. Very similar to the multiplayer rank. So if you finish in the top 25 you will earn 1 star, top 10 2 stars and if you place first you will earn 3 stars. The rank rewards will be a vehicle skin at rank 5, you will get a win tracker gun screen at rank 30 and a ranked veteran operator skin at rank 50. So that's pretty uh, cool, they're always the best. Basically with this one, you just the more you play, the higher your rank will get, you're not going to lose it like SR. They do announce that jockeying is taking place this season, even though it will be a short season. So basically what this means, for example, if you finish in Crimson for this season, then at the start of next season, so season 4, you will start at Diamond 1 for the next season. That is essentially everything you need to know for Warzone 2 ranked play. The only downside I have to this is that the only... Play mode is trios. I wish that there was a separate mode for solos ranked and maybe duos as well. Let me know what you guys think down below. Make sure to comment, subscribe, like. I'll catch you in the next one.